Hi Year 14, last lesson we dealt with getting our sample ready for the NMR machine and this lesson we're going to move on and we're going to start to analyse the spectra that we would obtain from the NMR machine. Now if you turn to page 4 in your notes you can see that you've got the structure for ethanol there. If you can colour code those hydrogen atoms the same as I have got on the screen. Now we have got yellow hydrogen atoms, green ones and blue ones and we have colour-coded them to show the groups of chemical equivalent hydrogens. So the yellow hydrogens are all joined to a carbon, which, which is bonded to another carbon. The green ones are bonded to a carbon, which is bonded to a carbon, but also bonded to an oxygen. And the blue ones then are just bonded to the oxygen. So you can see that the yellow ones are chemically equivalent. They have got the exact same chemical environment. Same for the green ones, same for the blue ones. And you'll see why this is so important just now. Now at the top of page five, we have got the low resolution NMR spectrum that this sample of ethanol would produce. You can see that there are three main peaks and I'm hoping that you realize and remember from last lesson that the peak at zero PPMs is the peak that's caused by the tetramethylsilane standard. And we measure the position of all the other peaks relative to this peak at zero. Now, there are three groups of chemically equivalent hydrogens, and like I've said, there are three peaks. Now, we can assign the peaks to the hydrogens that have caused these peaks. So this peak at a chemical shift of just over five parts per million has been caused by this hydrogen atom. Now the reason that I can say that straight away is because this hydrogen atom is directly bonded to a very electronegative oxygen atom. And the greater the electronegativity of the atom that the hydrogen is attached to, the more or the greater we will expect the chemical shift of the peak. And if I say this in really good words, I could say that this oxygen atom has de-shielded the hydrogen atom and hence it has shifted the peak caused by this hydrogen, at hydrogen atom downfield. And when I say downfield, I mean that it's been shifted downfield from the peak caused by the standard at zero. Now if we pause for a moment and we just consider this de-shielded word. When a, when a hydrogen atom is placed into a magnetic field, the electrons in the atom produce a magnetic field that opposes the applied field coming from the NMR machine. Now this is known as shielding. So therefore, if we're attached to an electronegative atom, it de-shields the hydrogen atom. So it really interferes um, with this magnetic field that the hydrogen atom is producing. And if we get used to the word, using the word de-shielding, it's a great way to collect marks in the exam. So if I put that all together in a really good explanation, the electronegative oxygen atom has de-shielded the hydrogen atom and therefore the chemical shift of this peak caused by the hydrogen has been shifted downstream. So put really simply, I'm expecting the peak caused by the hydrogen atom attached to the electronegative oxygen to have the greatest chemical shift. Now if I go then and I consider the other two groups of chemically equivalent hydrogen atoms, we had some green hydrogen atoms. Okay, and the green hydrogen atoms were these two hydrogen atoms in the middle. Now, these two hydrogen atoms are attached to a carbon, but we need to go a step further and we need to realise that the carbon that they're attached to is attached to that electronegative oxygen. So therefore, their chemical shift is going to be affected not as much as the blue hydrogen, but it's going to be affected by the de-shielding effect of this electronegative oxygen. So these two hydrogen atoms are going to be responsible for causing this peak at a chemical shift of between 3 and 4 parts per million. Now that only leaves then our three chemically equivalent yellow hydrogens. 
they are as far as possible in the molecule of ethanol away from this electronegative oxygen. So therefore, they are responsible for causing this peak at a chemical shift of one part per million. So I can decide, looking at the chemical shifts and looking at the environment that the hydrogen atoms are in in the molecule, I can decide which hydrogens have caused which peak. Now it's a good idea to write in beside your spectrum up at the top of the page 5 there that the area under the peak also tells us how many hydrogen atoms we have. Now we don't have any information about area but we can see just by looking that the peak at one part per million is the biggest peak, it's going to have the biggest area and this has been caused by our three yellow hydrogens and we'll just keep the colour coding going. Then our peak at between three and four parts per million, well it looks, just by looking at it, that this is the peak with the second largest area. This has been caused by our two hydrogens. Then the peak at just over five parts per million is the smallest peak. It's probably going to have the smallest area and this is caused by this one hydrogen on the end of the molecule of ethanol. Now we've dealt with a low resolution NMR spectrum but we're going to further just now and we're going to consider a high resolution spectrum. Now 